From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. A film festival and video game violence. Hello, I'm Anthony Conley, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Alexandria Gales. Smog Dance is a local film festival held annually. Teddy Rodriguez tells us more. Are you an aspiring filmmaker or are you just looking for something to do on the weekend? Well, the Smog Dance Film Festival may be for you. The Smog Dance Film Festival is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, so we're at Smog Dance 2008, and it's a great film festival. It has a little of everything every night. It has documentaries, um, animations, comedies, and short dramas. It's, it's taking place on January 25th, 26th, and 27th. Uh, so Friday the 25th, it's going to be from 7 to 10, and uh, Saturday is from 7 to 10 as well. And then Sunday the 27th, it is from 5 to 8. And it's going to be held at the Harvey Mudd um, Theater. It's the Galilea Theater at the Harvey Mudd Colleges in downtown Claremont. And uh, what do you hope the community can uh, gain or expect from this festival that's coming up? Well, it's our 10th year. Um, we've had uh, two Academy Award nominees show. And as far as the community goes, um, it's the Smog Dance Film Festival opens the world up to the community and the community up to the world. So it's, it, it's an international film festival. We, we've received films from Ackland, we've, uh, England, Canada, uh, Mexico. So it, it really does kind of open the world. For more information on this event, visit www.smogdance.com. For Local Matters, I'm Teddy Rodriguez. Do video games cause violence or release stress? Jonathan Origoki explains. Video games have been the subject of controversy and criticism due to graphic themes. Let's take a look and see what the people feel about these games. I feel that uh, video games today have progressed more as an art form. Uh, now that we have the technology to create movie-like scenarios, and I feel that uh, just the hardware and software in general has allowed people to express themselves, you know, using that medium. So it's a lot more than it used to be with just 2D images. Well, video games uh, today can uh, influence children to go out and do what they see on the video games, such as a game called Grand, Grand Theft Auto. They're jacking cars, killing people, and that can influence a child that's grown up in like poverty to uh, go out shoot two people rob you know because they don't have the things that kids kids have some feel that violent video games desensitizes when others feel that it may relieve stress it depends on a video game it's like some like um sports games um that make you interact a lot more like the nintendo wii you actually do a lot of moving so you get exercise while you play video games so you get both of them, so you will release some stress. It's all up to the parents to put restrictions on it, you know. The studios are out trying to make money, like, you need to, you know, you need to filter that. So, that's all it comes down to, the parents really. So, as you can see, there are many different views on how video games impact people today. For Local Matters, this is Jonathan Oyegoke. Well, that's all we have for you now. I'm Anthony Conley. And I'm Alexandria Gales. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. In athletics, the women's volleyball team won the CCAA championship for the fourth time in seven years. Our women's cross-country team earned NCAA Division II Scholastic All-America Honors for the eighth straight year. The women's basketball team advanced to the NCAA West Regional for the first time since 1998. Jennifer Joy, a junior tennis player, posted the best record in CCAA competition in conference play. just going to tell you I'm going to bed. <laughs> Lose yourself in amazing programming from Charter Digital Cable. Bring your home to life with Charter Digital Cable. Call 1-877-SAVE-190 today. Built! <laughs>